Missional journey is possible only as this fellowship of congregations discerns God's specific call and purpose for them as they dwell in God's Word, model and nurture a culture of prayer, and expect empowerment of the Holy Spirit. A missional vision sees the released potential of new, revitalized, and multiplying congregations in this Northeast corridor of the United States. One way Lancaster Conference congregations embrace missional priorities is through core values. Lancaster Conference core values reflect the missional Anabaptist identity, which is to say a way of being Christian in the 21st century that also connects to a 16th century Anabaptist heritage and an insistence to remain connected to the gospel proclamation of the Bible as the Luke 10 passage illustrated. Think about Lancaster Mennonite core values as three concentric circles centered around Jesus Christ. These three circles are three ways or three different windows looking into the same room. As the window changes, the perspective into the room changes, but the room itself remains the same. Some things are seen better from some windows than others, but all the windows provide a view into a single room, Jesus Christ. In looking at these three ways of centering our faith and life in Jesus Christ, we will cover a lot of ground. We will value a way of seeing the world through the reign of God. We value a way of reading scripture, and we value a way of living the Christian life. And of course, the point of it all is Jesus. In future sessions, discussion groups will consider why the way of seeing the world matters for Christians. Some serious questions will be asked about the Christian claim, Jesus is Lord. What does baptism mean for our outlook on the world? How do we live in ways that recognize the gospel as a message for all nations, tribes, and tongues? Does it matter how we read scripture? This study will introduce the idea that not all Christians approach the Bible in the same way. Reading the Bible different ways leads to different conclusions. This study suggests that the Anabaptist Mennonites have generally held to a particular way of reading the Bible that is responsible for some of the Anabaptist distinctive beliefs. This study contrasts a telescopic way of reading scripture as compared to a binocular flat way of reading. The entire study seeks to lead Lancaster Conference to value a way of living as disciples of Jesus. God's mission of reconciliation, the gospel of peace, a particular view of the church, the value of the Christian home, simplicity, justice, and stewardship. Success in recognizing our values moves the congregations of Lancaster Conference to a place where dynamic ministry in local communities with diverse peoples becomes possible. We invite others to join us as we seek to live under God's rule through the life and work of the people of God in witness and service. So what is a missional church? A missional church recognizes that it is sent by a missionary God into the world to be a sign, foretaste, and instrument of the kingdom of God. A missional Anabaptist identity is not a throwback to a long lost past. Rather, it is a call to church renewal around the biblical text with a particular way of reading, seeing, and living. This approach is as relevant today as it was 500 years ago. Conrad Kanegi preached a conference sermon recently entitled, Called to be Sent. Kanegi invited the assembled leaders to reflect on what it means to be sent. He noted that from Genesis to Revelation, God has been in the business of sending. The call to be sent, Kanegi challenged, is never a call to remain at home where it is comfortable and familiar. Rather, being sent by God will likely produce some anxiety, take us to unfamiliar places, and produce a new sense of reality and responsibility. At a series of regional leadership assemblies, Joe Rosa drew upon the example in Acts 11, when he called Lancaster Mennonite Conference leaders to leave the comforts of Joppa 
for the work of ministry in Caesarea. The 21st century missional call to Lancaster Conference draws from the biblical text and first century Christians as well as the missionary and martyr heritage of the 16th century Anabaptists. We face some emerging challenges to the mission and message of the church that are new to modern Christians. American society increasingly ignores the church. As Mennonites begin to realize that the church now lives at the margins of society, there is a growing sense for changing how we understand our mission. For example, Carnegie informs us that Mennonite church members want pastoral care, but pastors want to equip and send members into ministry. A missional Anabaptist identity intentionally works with these kind of challenges. A missional church provides Christians with tools to work effectively from the margins of society. We can work in partnership with the Holy Spirit in leading people to Christ as we heed the call to go, make disciples, baptize, and teach. We seek to give the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ priority over our comforts and cares as we care for others. If the assumption that there is no longer a prior culturally conditioned starting point for the church in North American society, then the following question is important to answer. Can the church be a relevant contrast society thinking outside the box with countercultural approaches. Living Stones Fellowship answers this question with a resounding yes, but it takes some thinking outside the box and some countercultural approaches. Several local campgrounds have opened their doors to out of the box ministries at Living Stones Fellowship. This ministry invites the visitors at the campground to a Sunday morning worship service held in the campground. Testimonies, worship, teaching, and children's activities are available for campers to glean from as they enjoy God's creation outdoors. Afterwards, all enjoy light refreshments and lots of fellowship. Being church outside the four walls leads Living Stones Congregation to take a day camp vacation Bible school activity into the Little Britain trailer park rather than expect the residents to come to their church building. When sharing the good news with strangers, ministering in mercy, and proclaiming God's love for the world through Christ to young and old alike, occurs inside and outside the church walls. When that happens, I suggest a missional journey is underway. This is a missional Anabaptist identity. Tim Keller, author of a short essay titled The Missionary Church, offers five things missional churches do to engage their communities. Number one, they talk about God in everyday language. How will we translate our core values in ways that are clear? Number two, they enter the culture and retell the culture stories with the gospel. How will we take modern stories and tell the gospel with them? They train themselves for public life and vocation in order to invite others to Jesus. How can we better our stand, understand ourselves and then clearly proclaim the gospel in season and out? Number four, they create Christian community which is countercultural and counterintuitive. How does a distinctly Anabaptist message, which has emphasized going against the grain of culture, connect with this missional priority? Lastly, they practice Christian unity as much as possible at the local level. How can we cooperate amongst ourselves and other Christians better? Keep Keller's five points in mind as we work through this study. 
core values. 